What's going on everybody? We're out today in the shop. We're gonna be doing a little bit of blade maintenance, blade balancing, and we're also gonna go over today. If you guys recall about two weeks ago, I made a post on Instagram, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I made a post about how when I got home, I cut the grass and sort of in the middle of right about where my deck would be, the grass was very uneven, it didn't look right. Well, that was because of a bent blade or a blade that was, it was not an evenly balanced blade. So we'll go over how we figure it out with that tool right there. And I'll go ahead and also put the video that I took for Instagram TV in this video. It's about a minute, minute and a half long. So if you guys are interested, check it out. Let's jump right into it. So I got home this evening and cut the grass really quick. I really wasn't going for anything pretty or fancy. The stripes are pretty off, but there is something else you may notice just from the start of this video that is off. See this strip right here, there, there. It's in all these stripes across the whole yard, unfortunately. That is from a bent blade. I see online a lot of people ask, sometimes when they're done cutting their grass, why they have that random it's almost like an uneven piece of grass. That's because when the blade is spinning, it's creating that uneven effect versus if it was a straight blade, they would it would be perfectly level. The stripe would be perfectly cut. You kind of see it a little, you see it pretty good in this one right here as we get more into the shade here. The sun is off that way. That's why you really can't see these stripes that well. But we'll kind of walk a little bit more here into the shade. Oh, you can see it really good on this one right here. This strip right here and these two like i said i really wasn't going for uh quality i was more just trying to get the yard cut because we're supposed to get storms all week but check you can see it here too wow look at that one that one's pretty off right there but that is what the cause of a bent blade will give you so if you had a question about that you see I, i'm not even trimming around the trampoline but if you had a question about that that is what the cause of that random strip down your stripe try not to mess that up is so i just wanted to bring you guys this video really quick this evening check it out hope you have been having a good one we'll see y'all later so we got these three sets of blades or three blades i'm sorry one set of blades for me is three blades because my mower is a 60 inch deck so it takes three blades so we'll throw it up here on the balancer make sure it's seated good we'll take this little metal guide rod you can see right here and we just barely want it to touch towards the bottom and the back of the blade. Now, right now, it's about tight enough that I may be able to slip a piece of paper through there. It's just barely contacting the back of the blade. Now we'll take and spin the blade around to the other side. You hear that? It's hitting this guide rod. Pretty, it actually just moved it back a little bit. If we spin it back this way. Now I could probably fit about five or six pieces of paper through there. So that means that this blade is bent and this should have been the middle blade that was in that set of blades. We'll take the other two blades in this set, set it on there as well. And we'll do the same thing. We just barely want it contacting the back of the blade. Now we'll spin it to the other side and it's about the same. Same distance from each side, so it's not contacting, and there really is no significant gap. So that means that this blade is good to go to keep being serviced. And we'll check this third one here as well. Could just barely fit about a piece of paper through there. We'll spin it around the other side. Same exact thing. So that means this blade is good to keep being serviced as well. So we'll throw this one back up here, and I'll give you a little bit closer of a look as to what I meant exactly. All right, so we've got the guide rod right about there. I'm trying to get a good angle on it. You see it's just barely touching, so we'll spin it around the other way. And you can see it hit right there, spin it back again. No contact, pretty close to it. Spin it back this way again. 
it's hitting. So this was the blade in question that we found in the middle that was really messing the grass up. I just kind of try to push this back in. This cone allows for all kinds of different size, different diameter holes of blade to be put on there. You can see right here, these holes are different. So this one, when you go to put it on, you grab the back and you pull the piece that actually has the magnets in it, which is right here, against this. Now the blade is stuck on there and you can balance and check it and everything and move this out to however you have to or up or down, whichever way you have to go with it. So that's how you check fairly quickly how the blade is balanced. We're gonna push that back in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a really quick one. I just wanted to show you how exactly we came out here and made sure that the blades are sharp, make sure that they're balanced. We're actually gonna go ahead and knock out, what is that, one, two, three, four sets of blades. We're gonna go ahead and get sharpened up today. So I hope you guys are having a great one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what you think. Appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a good one. See you on the next one.